What's up guys? So the Oscars 2015 just happened. Today is Sunday, February 22nd. And you know me, I got motivated so I had to show you something. So this is, and links, if this is the first time you're ever watching any of my videos, all anything I talk about will be in the description box below. And Oscars 2015, this is from the Hollywood Reporter and uh, Mr. Moore, his acceptance, acceptance speech for best adapted screenplay for The Imitation Game with my love, Keir Knightley, uh, and Benedict, Benedict Cumberbatch is cool too. So he opens this, he opens his speech up. I mean, this is beyond powerful. When I was 16 years old, I tried to kill myself. This guy opens up with, when I was 16 years old, I tried to kill myself. And you gotta watch this video. You aren't gonna be any more motivated than watching this video. And so he talks about, he felt weird, he felt different, he felt like he didn't belong, and now he's standing here after he just won an Oscar. This is for the kid out there who thinks that they're weird, they're different. I like what he says, he's like, just, I promise you dude, or do that, just stay weird, just keep on going out there, and one day you'll be where he's at. And there is so much truth behind that, because there's so many of us out there, there's so many people out there that they get bullied every single day. They may not know um, that they can do something because if they're not bullied, the people around them, their circle of influence, their best friends, their moms, dads, aunts, uncles, brothers, sister, grandma, grandpa, boyfriend, girlfriend, husbands, wives, the people that are around are negative and they don't mean to be negative, but they're just in a negative environment where they're around people who say, you can't do this and you can't do that and you want to become this and that's not realistic. And I just love this guy's speech where he talks about how at 16 years old, he tried to kill himself and obviously didn't and now he just won an oscar in the year 2015 for the imitation game so powerful because it's just another example <clears throat> as if we need it anymore and we do and we never will not need these but it's just another example that no matter where you are in your life no matter how bad things seem to be and no matter how things you feel that you can't be successful you just got to know that you can do it and you can make it happen in a big big way and this is just another example that you know, when times are tough, that you act, you just got to go out there, put your head down, put your tail up and run with the ball. And I obviously, it's a lot easier said than done, but it's just so many stories of people who, of success. And there's so many stories of people who were at their lowest of the low of the low, where this guy, when he was so young, felt that he had to kill himself. And thank goodness that he didn't. And now all his... Um, success is now finally pouring out winning the oscar now finally all of his hard work that he's built up and he looks fairly young still i'm not exactly sure how old he old is actually this is why we have wiki he is this is his i don't know if this is his first oscar win born in 1981 holy moly he's just one year older than me look how far behind i am guys he's already 33 years old from chicago and um He's had a few awards already that he's he's won. One, two, three, four, five. So he's had a few awards already that he's been um that he's finally been able to get some success with. He began his career. Ten things I hate about you. I love it. I love this stuff. Just so you know. I absolutely love this stuff where you these again it's just these regular people where they take their vision ambition desires and goals for him it was a writer he had a passion for writing worked on it worked on it now he has an oscar and he gets to share a story about what he wanted to do when he was 16 years old and now he uh is now has an oscar so hopefully this story can give you that motivation that you're going to need that you can do it there's so many people out there that still don't think that they can do it. And you got to know, there's no difference between you and Mr. Moore, you and any of the other people who won Oscars uh, tonight. They obviously all worked hard. They obviously did all the basic fundamentals and rudiments that it took to become the great at what they became great at. But the point is, they're all just human. And if they can do it, you can do it. You know, and sometimes we need that daily motivation from guys like this and hearing their stories that we can be successful too. So I'm, anyway, hope this video did something for you. It got me jacked up. And if you didn't like the video, but you like this video that I'm talking about, my job is done. So check out all links below. Hollywood Reporter, thank you for putting it out there. And we'll talk to each other soon. Thanks. Bye.
Thanks for viewing, guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, leave comments below, and subscribe to our channel. And if you can't get enough James Shoe, don't worry, there's always more. In the boxes below, from left to right, on the left, it's the Adventures of Superman, where all my awesome friends have their fabulous businesses here in Las Vegas and all over the United States, and we feature them on the Adventures of Superman. In the box in the middle, it's our vlog, where we show the behind the scenes of how NPM VSM and the Adventures of Superman work and how it all comes together. And on the far right of the box, mobilizing people. If you need daily motivation, inspiration, ambition, we go over all the basic fundamentals of everything I've learned in that channel, Mobilizing People. Subscribe to all of them and I'll see everybody soon. Thanks.